Now, the reason, as I'm sure you all know, that we're here today is because we are actually fighting another potential encroachment and bad use of our green open spaces mm -hmm. on behalf of the, the London Olympic Destruction Agency, as they are being colloquially referred to. And once upon a time, all of Leighton Marshes, Walthamstow Marshes and Hackney Marshes, all the way up the Lee Valley, it was all Lammas land. In the spring, in between Lady Day in the spring and Lammas Day in August, various people had the right to take their hay crops off part of the marshes. And then come Lammas Day, all the people who lived in Leighton and Walthamstow and Hackney had the right to turn their cattle or their sheep or their horses or whatever animals they had out to graze on the marshes all the way through the rest of the summer and the autumn and the winter. Um, if you, Leighton and Walthamstow marshes, they operated one great big enormous joint common. So anybody who lived in Leighton and Walthamstow, all of Leighton and Walthamstow marshes was theirs for their animals from Lammas Day onwards. Um, where we are standing now and all round here, this was all part of the original Lammas lands and it is one of the uh, rapidly dwindling parts of what is left as Lammas land. Um, there, there's the argument about the status if it's Lammas land, it, that's, um, or, or free land, or green belts, or marsh land, etc. So we've got to, uh, that's a huge argument which is very debatable. But the point is, currently, you have the freedom to roam on this land. So then you've got the rights of way. That is going to be fenced off. That area there now is going to be fenced off. Roughly now, where that point ends. Yeah, uh, roughly yeah. where that point, straight across. We'll so stand up there and see how big it is. Now, once that, that area is fenced off, of course, you haven't got the, the freedom to roam. This isn't within the area that the Olympics can do what they like. This, this, is, this is ordinary land. Uh, it's an ordinary area, so they just can't do whatever they like, which, which they have authority to do within the Olympic compound. They can't do that here. So um, our borough, and boroughs come to that because of uh, the marshes as well, Hackney Marshes, should oppose this on behalf of their, their people that they represent. Whereas in fact, they're building careers on it. The uh, leader of Waltham Forest Council, what's his name? Lokes? Clive Lokes. Sorry? Clive Lokes. Clive Lokes. Let's hear it for Clive Lokes. Boo! side of the railway, the far side of what is now the Pitch and Putts Golf Course, there was a waterworks that sort of brought water in and dealt with the London sewage and they took a large portion to build of the old Lammas land to build their sewage works on and they wanted to expand and they started putting up fences and they started putting railway sidings across the, the railway line in and it was all across the Lammas land and they didn't have the proper authority to this and there was a complete riot and there were thousands and thousands of people who in those days still had the grazing rights and still wanted to use their grazing rights and this was 1892 and there was a huge great riot and people went out and they pulled the fences down and they pulled the railway lines up. The revolting peasants. Except in those days far from our, far from our slimy councillors who would sell their souls or their grannies to give a career advantages out of the Olympics we actually had the local councillors and the local county councillors at the forefront of the riot and being actually being arrested for defending the local people's rights. I wonder where our current councillors are. And she's not quite true. I've actually had an apology for one of them too, and an apology for one of the local MPs who say they can't make it, but I don't know about the others. The, L the LDA are busy trying to tell us that because it once used to belong to the railway, it's not former Lammas land. Now that is literally rubbish. All these marshes were originally Lammas land. Correct. And it was King Alfred the Great, the guy who was most famous for burning the cakes, who originally... Well, he originally started dr digging all the drainage ditches of the dikes and drained the marshes enough to make fields out of them anyway. And it was he who granted a royal charter or pro proclamation originally establishing the principle of Lammas grazing rights. In like the ninth century or something? In the ninth century, that's right. Yes. Sing a song of open space and sing it far and wide. Sing of ancient lammas, rights and justice on our side. 
Let the voice of reason rise above this gloomy time. This is the land of the people. The land, the land, our ancient planet's land. The land, the land, the ground on which we stand. We will not be robbed, for there's a ballot in this land. This is the land of the people. Alfred was a king best known for letting his cakes burn. It was he who drained the marshes, his made this all dry land. Gave the local people rights to graze our cattle on. This is the land of the people. The land, the land, our ancient glamorous land. The land, the land, the ground on which we stand. We will not be robbed while there's a ballot in the stand. This is the land of the people. By the 20th century, few cows remained in sight. Late people were voted to exchange our grazing rights for a recreation ground forever and for aye. This is the land of the people. The land, the land, our ancient land, the land, the land. The land the ground on which we stand, we will not be robbed when there's a ballot in this land. This is the land of the people. Oh yay, oh yay, oh yay, they're giving our land away. If you've got the freedom to walk and the freedom to graze, how are they going to steal this from us? As I say, oh yay, oh yay, oh yay, they're giving our land away. We've got to try to stop this, I mean, it, it just...